Hey y'all, I'm Zoe Romley. I'm a Guilford County 4-H'er, and right now I serve as Guilford County County Council Vice President. And I'll be showing you how to make a snake. It's a sewing project, and it's very easy, great for a beginner. So you will need some scissors, some fabric. I just have scrap fabric pieces. You will also need pins, a pin or marker, a ruler, just something to measure by, and some felt. You'll also need a sewing machine and some thread, of course, um, some embroidery thread, and some buttons. All right, so first you're gonna start by picking out your fabric. And this strip I have here is about three inches wide by 24 inches long, which is about what you need. And then you're gonna iron it just to get all those wrinkles out and have a nice crisp edge. So now that you've ironed it, you're going to take your fabric. I have two pieces of the three by 20 inch fabric, which is what you need. The right side of your fabric is the pretty side where you can see all the designs. And then the wrong side is the side where it looks kind of faded, kind of not so pretty. So you're gonna take that fabric, you're gonna put right side down, or wrong side, down on your table with right side up and then put your other right side down and your right and your wrong side facing up. So you're gonna have those two right sides together with the wrong sides on the outside. And again, just making sure you have those all lined up. You take your pen or marker and your ruler and snakes, well, what do they have? They have a diamond head. So my fabric here is about three inches wide, so I'm going to make a mark at the one and a half mark, just about in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to make a plant in a diamond shape, just like so. And then you're going to bring that back down and meet not quite so in the middle, just going to It'll look somewhat like that, or at least it should. And then where that space is in between your little diamonds, so right here and right here, you will just draw a straight line all the way to the other end of your fabric. You're going to want that straight line to be about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half width in between. You don't have to measure it exactly. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then once you get down to the end, you should have the straight line all the way down and then your head at the top. So once you get up down to the end, the snake tails kind of taper off. So you're just gonna taper and then come into a little point at the end of your fabric. All right, so that's going to be your snake and then you're going to want to leave those two pieces together. You're going to grab your felt. It can be any color you want and you can't really write on black felt. That's a little bit hard, but you're just going to take it and Take your scissors and just cut out a piece that's about half an inch by an inch and a half. So you should have a little strip like that. And then snake tongs are a bit pointed. So you're just going to cut into it like that. Once you've drawn on your fabric and drawn your snake pattern out, you're going to cut around the line that you made and you're going to want to leave about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch 
for your seam allowance. So then you're going to want to make sure your two cut pieces are lined up and then you're going to take the tongue of your snake and open up your two pieces of fabric and inside that point. So the little pointed edge is facing down towards its body. And then flip the other piece back up and pin that in place. Then you're going to want to pin around all the edges of your snake. Before you take it to the sewing machine, you want to make sure you leave an opening. So take your marker and then just make two lines. You're going to want to put your opening somewhere in the middle of your snake leave it two inches so that's what it looks like and then you're going to stop sewing there leave this part open and then start sewing again here all the way back down so then once you come over to the sewing machine you're going to put your fabric under your presser foot lower the presser foot in the back and you can and then line your um, middle of the needle with that red line or a little on the outside and then keep sewing, and then don't back stitch. And then once you get to a corner, you're going to move your needle down. And keep sewing. And then that's where my mark is. So then you sew, back stitch, take it out, cut the thread, and then where my line, that's where my line ended. So I'm going to start back up here where it's at. Stitch again. sewn across all the edges and you left your opening right here you want to make sure that you got all your edges sewn good and then you can start to trim your excess threads and then trim that excess fabric that you have around your seam be, and be sure not to trim your thread where you sew it, where you sewed it at. Now that you've trimmed it, you're going to start to flip it inside out. So your right side should now be on the outside. And I've grabbed just a chopstick or you can use a pen to help guide and push that fabric through.
and then after you have it flipped out and you got all your corners poked out good, along this line right here about where your arrow stops, you're going to just sew a straight line across here. And that's just to keep the stuffing or whatever you decide to put in out. And then you're going to go forward and back stitch all the way across. And it should look like that. So now to put inside of it, I just have some pipe cleaners that I've twisted together. And you can use beans, you can use rice, or you can use stuffing. And then you're going to go in that hole and thread it through up to the top. And then you're going to go back the other way and get it in the bottom. Alrighty, so once you have filled your snake with the stuffing of your choice, you are almost done. So you're going to take a needle like that. And the eye of it can be really small. So first you're going to cut some of your thread and then tie a secure knot at the bottom and then cut your threads off below your knot and then sometimes this can be kind of gross but you're going to want to lick the end of your thread and then twist it find the eye of your needle and attempt to thread it through. So once you've got it threaded through, you're going to pull about half of your string halfway through, and then you're going to start by going and making sure that this flap right here, you can fold it like so, and then you're going to start by putting your needle on the inside of that fabric. So the knot is hidden, and then pull it up, and then come back through on the inside of the other piece of fabric. And then you're just going to continue going back and forth, connecting those two bottom pieces of fabric. You can choose to do a whip stitch, which I think is easier and I like to do better. So you're going to start the same way by just threading your fabric through, or threading your thread through the fabric, and then you're going to go through both pieces while they're folded, go through one side, whip it back around, and then go through the same side, and you just continue doing that. This is the stitch that you can use for most anything. Super easy, super simple, fast, and it doesn't have to look perfect because nobody's going to be looking that close. Alright, so once you get to the end, you're going to make a French knot you go in, grab a little piece of fabric, take the thread that is closest to your fabric where it just came out, not the one attached to your needle, and just wrap it around one, two, around your needle, and then pull your needle through those twists. And then you're going to want to do that twice in just about the same spot. So again, put your needle through, one, two, wrap it around, and then pull your needle through the wraps. Then, for the eyes of your snake, you're going to grab two buttons of any size and put them like that. So I'm going to start with one. You're going to take your same needle and thread, or you can use embroidery thread, which might be easier. Tie a knot in the end. So you're just going to go up through the bottom 
and then go through one hole, go through the one across it, and then go through the top and the bottom, and do that about three times. And then you're going to come up through, but not go through one of the holes. Still stay close to the middle. And then wrap or wrap your thread around the button about three times. So one, two, three. And then you're going to go back to the middle, go down, and then come back up one more time. And then on the back side, you see you'll have your stitches. And you're just going to make another French knot, which is grabbing a little piece of fabric, going halfway through with your needle, and then one, two, and pull it up. And do that twice. One, two, and then pull it back up. And then you can cut all your threads. And you have one eye on. Thank you all so much. Hopefully you get to make your own little snake. Goodbye. Thank you all so much for joining me for the sewing project. I enjoyed it and I hope you did. Once again, I'm Zoe Rumley from Guilford County 4-H. Thank you.